Alright, so the first thing I'm showing you guys is the AKA uh, Wii Remote object hooked up um, and the way in which I've cleaned that data up so you can see the cleanup patch that I put together which basically takes input from the Wii Remote um, and then applies some conversions to it so that I get a range between 0 and 180. So if I tip the remote all the way uh, to one side, there you see the, the data drops down to about 0. And if I tip it all the way the other way, it's up in the range of 170, 180, 160 up there. Okay? So now I'm going to go ahead and begin sending data over to uh, the rest of the program. Um, here's where that data comes in and it gets sent out. Uh, here's again another patch that's cleaning up the data some more, uh, turning it into four selections between one, two, three, and four. and. Uh, the robot responds to those, and those selections are pretty much what control where data is sent. I'm going to go ahead now and tilt the remote forward, and you see here in the first column uh, the choice was four. That was incorrect, so, uh, but I didn't punish the robot in time, so I will do it again. Now it's two. Two is incorrect, so I punish the robot. Um, do that again, and there you can see, I don't know if you can see this, but the range for that has decreased. So I will do it again, this time it was three, so I'm decreasing that. Do it again, it's three, so I'm going to decrease three also. And do it again, all right, do it again there, so I can decrease three. And now you'll notice that sometimes I did it again just there, and sometimes there's no response on the part of the robot. Okay, so now Geppetto is up on blocks, and, well he's actually up on wheels, but his wheels are off the ground. If I had a larger space, then I would train him using, you know, just allowing him to move around. One of the problems I've run into is that he will bump into the walls in my house pretty quickly. So I'm going to continue on training him to move forward when commanded to. So here I am, I'm tipping the remote forward, and I got no response. Forward again, no response. Again, no response. <laughs> and there he just moved backwards, so I'm punishing him. That time he turned, so I'm punishing him again. Backwards, so I'm going to punish him some more. That time he turned, so I'm going to punish him. Turned again. This poor robot. There he goes, he did the right thing, so now I'm rewarding him. That time he turned, so I'm going to punish him. More punishment. That time he went forward, so I gave him rewards. Okay, we're going to actually attempt uh, exercising the training that Geppetto has gotten. Now I'm going to try to get Geppetto to do a left turn. Good boy. Now I'm going to tell Geppetto to go backwards. Good boy. And finally, we'll see if Geppetto will go forwards. Good boy. Uh, I'm rewarding him by pressing the A button repeatedly. Now, let's try a left turn.
Good boy. Now let's try a right turn. Good boy. Let's try another left turn. Bad boy. I'm punishing him by pulling the trigger. Let's try another, let's try to go forward. Good boy. There you have a demonstration of training Geppetto to use the Wii Remote and having him learn responses to my commands. Left turn. Okay, Geppetto made a right turn, so we'll try again. Okay, let's try the other way.